Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Let me connect the, the, the camera because this camera is not very good. Okay. Hello, Rodrigo. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Again, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. It's a pleasure to see you. Yeah. Okay. Morena. Hello, Morena. You couldn't come to the class yesterday, right, Morena? Hello, hello, Morena. Okay. Now we're going to start uh, with the platform. I'm going to read some commentaries. Some commentaries from the platform, right? Okay, simple pass. Uh, yesterday we were practicing the simple pass. Now we're going to read some commentary, right? Sylvia says, did you go to the beach? I will maximize this. Right? Did you go to the beach? And Vicky says, uh, did, you go, did you work on Saturday? No, I didn't. I didn't work at, at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to, let me see. I went to the church. Yes, very good. Good commentary. Rolando Campos. I was working Saturday all day. This is good. But Teacher. Good. Yes. How are you? Uh, good evening. How are you? Why, thank you, Hilda. Any question? Yeah. Yes, uh, I I did work in the platform. Uh -huh. I have a problem with an uh, answer. What, but what, what number is anything possibility in no no answer? No answer. Yes. Okay. Uh, so we're going to check it together. What point is exactly, Hilda? Is, is section uh, one section one or section two? Check a section one but it's a number the last one the last one okay we're yes. going to check it right now no, the last one is the quiz um, okay we're going to it, check it together don't worry don't worry we can make it together so i finish uh, it's a uh, unit 111 1.11 right yes okay. and the number four Okay, we're going to check it together. Just let me finish with this, right? I was working Saturday all day, right? In this case, Rolando is correct. But remember when you use ING, it's past continuous, right? Past mm -hmm. continuous. But the sentence is good, of course, right? Now we are working with the simple past, but yeah, don't worry. It's, it's a good sentence. Congratulations for your commentary, right? Now uh, let's go to check this, the section number one and we're going to check one 11 11 yes 1.11 just give me a second it's opening section one 1.11 the knowledge check right yes okay it's opening it's opening mm-hmm let me read. It says, complete the, the following question. Guide yourself with the, with the answer. Yes. Okay. The number one and number three is correct. It's for correct. Me, but, but the number four is very... It's very difficult. Oops, I have the answer here. Let me, <laughs> <laughs> let me explain first, right? Let me explain first. Mm -hmm. Just give me a second. Give me a second. I will explain. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, we were working with information question right yes mm -hmm. but uh, i guess uh, how for example uh, how long how do you work uh -huh. uh, how, let, how let, good are you how well do you uh-huh repeat but that I, I i write i write it how good are you because the answer is not very well not very well good now let me share the the platform right now <clears> and i will show you i will show you no, the answer, but well, practically the answer. <laughs> okay, yes. let me let me show you. Let me show you. Okay, here. 
Okay, good. Now notice, Hilda, how well, not very well, is it right? Yes, but I uh, I typed, I did type the how well do you type? Uh, uh, but, but that, listen, this is the answer, Hilda. Really? How well? Repeat the, 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 the answer, how well? How well? Uh -huh. uh, uh, how well do you ah, say? do you that's uh -huh. the problem how well do you know because remember the person says i can right mm -hmm. let me explain just let me check again the answer yes give me a second here okay here the person says in the answer not very well right not very well actually i need to take a typing class so when you type, Hilda, is not do. Yes. Can I can type? It's an ability. How well can can can, can, can. can. how well can how you? Well, how well can can you? Uh, only change do for can. Simple okay. like that. Simple like that. Okay. How well can you? Uh huh. Correct. Good. Any other? Okay. When, it's and, correct. <laughs> okay, good. Any other sentence that you have a question, Hilda? No, no, no the, for the that. moment not. Okay. Uh -huh. For the moment, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. Now let's go to the section two again. Let's go to the section two again. Just give me a second. Okay. It's opening, it's opening here, right? 2.6, 2.6. We're going to go to the listening exercise we didn't complete yesterday, right? Sorry, I, okay, here. Let me share, please. Let me share. Here we are. Okay, good. Uh, well, yesterday we were learning about the simple past. Did you do anything? uh the conversation and then the simple path right and um today we're going to finish this part with a listening exercise and then we're going to work in groups right so it's a listening exercise listen to john and laura describe what they did last night check the correct information about each person so we have john and laura right so listen to the audio please listen to the audio Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah. I guess you're right. Now, again, this time I will describe for you what they say. Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? So what did you do? What did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. I went to my boss's house for dinner. Dinner? Really? How was it? Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay. The food was okay. But the people weren't very interesting. But the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night and I... They talk about football all night and I hate football. Hate football. 
Then we watch some boring sports videos. Then we watch some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I had a great time last night. night. I went to a party and met an old school friend. Of I went to a party and met an old school. I went to a party and met an old school. Mine. We haven't seen. An old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other. Seen each other for years. For years. So we had lots to talk about. So we had lots, lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm. It's hmm. Sounds like you had a much better time than I. It sounds like you had much better time than I, I did. did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, now with this information, you can tell me, right? Who had a boring time? Boring time. Laura and jo or John or both? Who had a good time? Good time. Laura, John, or Ambos, right? Ambos is both. Who met an old friend? Laura, John, or both? Who got home late? Laura, John, or both? Okay? So this is uh, the listening exercise, right? Do you have any questions? Any questions so far? No questions. Okay, good. So, uh, uh, working in the simple past, I asked you today to print an information about the simple path, right? So, I, I, I have to ask you, right? Quería saber si todos imprimieron o, o tienen a la mano la información que mandé al grupo ahora? Sí, teacher. Todos la tienen. Yes. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we are going to work in groups right now, right? We are going to work in groups right now. Ah, okay, Silvia. Uh, ¿Y qué pasó? Eh, eh, ¿Cómo se llama? No, sé. no, le, no le ha dado link a, al mensaje que le enviaron por Gmail, Silvia. Porque Dice que desde el módulo pasado hicieron eso, que me sacaron del grupo. Y hasta que yo, yo le dije al de soporte técnico, me volvían a meter. Y hoy que comenzó este otro módulo, me volvieron a sacar. Me volvieron a sacar. Vaya, ¿por qué no hacemos algo, Silvia? Uh, hágame un favor. Mándeme un mensaje a mi número, ahorita Ajá. o más tarde. Y yo le voy, a, le voy a responder que con el número de, del compañero del área técnica. Y usted se pone en contacto con él. Pero la voy a poner en un grupo donde los compañeros le van a, a, a compartir la, la información. En este momento, ¿sí? Así Pero, que... Eh, tiene... Como no estoy en el grupo, no, no tengo su número. No por eso. Ahorita se lo voy a dictar. Please, copy. ¿Ready? Ah, ok. Yes. Ok. English or Spanish? <laughs> uh... both, 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 ok. Seven seven four five four five right seven seven five two again siete siete cuatro cinco siete siete cinco dos yes okay <laughs> Javier Gomez my name right Javier Gomez teacher Javier Gomez eh, me manda el mensaje yo le le voy a enviar el eh, los números de los compañeros de la área técnica para que ellos le ayuden, porque yo no, no tengo el acceso, no puedo, no puedo hacer nada, ¿verdad? Solo Thank ellos you, son los que me pueden. Ok, good. Y ahorita nos vamos a ir en grupo y los compañeros que le ayuden ahí con los, los ejercicios, ¿ok? Good. Okay, now, now we're going to make groups. Let me see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to make three groups, right? Vamos a hacer tres grupos. Let me see. Okay, eh, Brenda, Claudia Ramos, Hilda, Rodrigo, Vicky, and Janari Cortez, group number one, right? 
Room number two, Ana María, Juan Alfonso, Morena, Silvia, Víctor, Martínez, right? And group number three, Adonai Portillo, Claudia Castro, Josué, Rosales, Mai, and Rolando, right? Okay. Uh, lo que vamos a hacer es uh, resolver los ejercicios que del pasado simple, simple path, right? Y yo voy a ir ayudándoles a uh, los tres grupos. Ok, let's start, please. Teacher, me salí sin querer queriendo de la reunión. Ah, vaya. Este, déjeme ver. Morena, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Déjeme ver, Morena. Como la, la incluimos a una sala. Déjeme ver cómo hacemos. Déjeme ver aquí. Estaba con Silvia y por accidente le di. Me salí. Aquí. Vamos a darle aquí clic. Clic. Sala. La voy a mover a otra sala para ver que eh, a la, eh, al grupo 3 la voy a mandar. Oiga, al grupo 3. Ok. Vale, ahí me dice, sí. Ah, todavía no, fíjese, no sé qué pasó, Morena. Solo me da la opción de mover, no. de moverla, déjeme ver. Solo me dice que la puedo mover... No sé cómo hacer, Morena. Déjeme. Uy. Voy a intentar. No, pero es que si creo otro grupo, si creo otro grupo. Bueno, vamos a hacer una cosa. Voy a tener que sacarlos a todos nuevamente y la voy a agregar. Pero no se voy a salir, oiga. Bueno, permítame. Ay, qué pena, qué pena. No hay problema. Los voy a sacar a todos y los, los vamos a reubicar. Porque no, no puedo meterla en ningún grupo, pero no la puedo. Sorry. No la puedo dejar solita. Ok. Hello, hello. Silvia, perdón, la voy a reubicar, a, a, los voy a reubicar a todos. Excuse me. Perdón, tuve un problema técnico y los voy a reubicar a todos. Solo denme un segundito más. Yes. Hello, hello. Ahí estamos, regresando todos. Víctor, eh, Juan Alfonso, Josué, May, ya lo voy a reubicar, permítame. Ok, aquí vienen todos ya los compañeros. Hello, hello. Perdón. Very fast, teacher. Sorry, es que tuve un problema técnico. Tuve un problema técnico, así que voy a volver a hacer los grupos. Voy a volver a hacer los grupos, perdonen. Ok, ¿todos estamos listos? Bueno, yes. Voy a hacer otra vez los grupos, realmente. Van a disculparme. Tuve un problema técnico aquí. Déjenme ver. Vaya, aquí vamos nuevamente. Los grupos son Brenda, Claudia Ramos, Hilda, Rodrigo, Vicky, Yanari. Sala 2, Ana María, Juan Alfonso, Silvia, Víctor. Y sala 3, Adonai, Claudia Castro, Josué, May, Morena y Rolando. Ok, hoy sí, ahí vamos. Perdón, ahí vamos.
Hello, Juan Alfonso. Ah, ahí estamos. Hola, hola, teacher. Eh, es que lo que pasa es que se me, me, se me ha arruinado la computadora y me estoy metiendo en mi celular, pero no sé cómo ah, hablar con bye. mi compañero, no me está dando problemas. Ah, vaya, este, ¿sabe qué? Voy a compartirle aquí entonces en la, en la sala principal, le voy a compartir el, el, el ejercicio y cree que me lo copia y este... Yo lo tengo, yo lo imprimí. Ah, vaya, entonces, Ajá. y ya lo resolvió. Eso, o sea, eso estaba haciendo y me faltan vaya. las últimas. Va, entonces ¿Pero cómo hablo con ellos? Ter, Termínenlas y yo voy a regresar a la sección principal a preguntarles, pero me voy a ir a las otras a ayudarles a ellos. Y luego okay. regreso. Va. Ahí quédese Va. y yo voy a regresar otro ratito. Tengo aquí a Lorena también. Va. Lorena, hello Lorena. Lorena, ¿me puede escuchar? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. La escucho a lo lejos, Lorena. Este, no sé por qué. ¿Por qué no se pudo unir al grupo? Uh, eh, voy a, la voy a dejar aquí en la sala principal, Lorena. La voy a dejar a la sala principal y me voy a ir a la otra reunión. La dejo con Mayra también y les voy a compartir ahorita el ejercicio para que lo vean. No sé si usted lo tiene, Lorena. ¿Usted lo tiene? Ok. Ah. Ok, entonces termínenlo ahorita y si tiene alguna pregunta yo voy a regresar a otro momento, me voy a ir a las salas a trabajar con los demás compañeros okay. y luego vuelvo, a... esta es la sala principal, ok, okay. Entonces, yo regreso otro ratito a hablar con usted y con, con Mayra también porque se me ha quedado Mayra aquí en la sala principal, ok, regreso otro ratito entonces, Gracias. ok. Ajá, le preguntamos. Sí, porque si es, si es negativo, se usa el Didn't. Uh -huh. lo, que pasa es, lo que pasa es que esa plataforma es algo arrevesada. Hoy me costó encontrar esa. No nos habían <risa> enseñado esa parte. Y yo voy a de darle y poner el ojo, 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 todos posibles. Y nada. O por un punto. Uh -huh. sí. sí. Pero yo creo que es no hay Didn't. Call my friend. Okay. El 4 es do, do you do? Mm -hmm. Do you do anything? Do you do anything special of the week? Yes, I did. Hello, hello. Any question? Yes, teacher. Dígame, ¿hay alguna pregunta por aquí? Yes, teacher. Ah, Cuando... Ajá, dígame. Cuando es una pregunta, eh, uh -huh. no vamos a usar, aparte del did, otro auxiliar. Eh, Como no. have o ha. No, 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 no. Solo se usa el auxiliar y el verbo. El okay. auxiliar y el verbo. Eh, ¿Quieres que les comparta el, el cuadro o lo tienen ahí todo, toditos? Compártelo, teacher. Bueno, ahorita lo voy a compartir. Realme un segundito. Eh... Permítame, déjeme abrirlo acá porque lo tengo en pantalla principal. Aquí está. Un poco Aquí vamos. Um, no lo puedo abrir. <ríe> Hoy sí creo que aquí lo tengo ya. No sé si lo alcanzan a ver. Yes. ¿Sí? Yes. ¿Lo alcanzan yes. a ver? Ok, good. Eh, vaya, eh, recuérdense que tenemos preguntas de sí y no y preguntas de, de información, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué uh -huh. vamos ahorita? La cuatro. La cuatro. La cuatro. Ah, vaya. Yes. Eh, number four, teacher. Number four, ok. Aquí dice yes, miren. Entonces quiere decir que es pregunta de sí, ¿no? Uh -huh. ajá. Entonces, ¿qué va aquí? En did. la did, ajá. 
Y luego el, el verbo es igualito, lo copian igual, ¿verdad? Entonces respondemos con respuesta corta. Yes, I did. I did. Y luego el verbo acá se pasa al pasado, valga la redundancia. I uh -huh. when. Ajá. when. Igual aquí en este, el spend lo van a pasar al pasado, es un verbo irregular. Uh -huh. Ok. Y las cinco también, el yes no question, miren. ¿Ve? Después del punto, cuando pasa el punto, lo demás ya tienen que ir pasando los verbos al pasado, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Vaya, okay. ahí, los, ahí, ahí los dejo trabajando entonces, ¿sí? Ok. Ok. okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. Ok. Ok, y el número 5. Pero el número 4 es, ¿did you do anything special over the weekend? Uh -huh. Yes, I did. I went shopping. I went on, shopping. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, I spent all my money. No. Ana María. También. Tengo una confusión. ¿En, ¿en cuál, Ana María? Hello, hello. Es que nos... Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Ah, qué bueno que entró el teacher. Dígame, Gracias, teacher. Dígame, ¿cómo vamos? ¿Por cuál número vamos? A comenzar no. la tres y vamos. A pero no la sé tres. en cuál tiene duda. Sí, no sé en cuál sí. tiene duda ella. ¿En cuál tenía duda, compañera? Es que no sé si yo lo entendí mal, teacher. Dígame. La dígame. regla. Pero yo entiendo que cuando es una pregunta ¿Sí? de información, en la pregunta sí va en pasado. Eh, no, no. O es en la respuesta que va. Sí, es que vaya, le explico. Así es de sencillo, Ajá. para que no se me confunda. Ajá. Siempre que use el auxiliar did, el verbo no va en pasado. Oh. ¿Sí? Así es de sencillo. Quiere uh -huh. decir que cuando usted va, va a preguntar, ¿Verdad? Y usa el auxiliar, el verbo, en este caso, en la treba, el verbo se deja en presente. Uh -huh, correcto. Ahora, cuando yo respondo, ¿verdad? Eh, aquí en, el, en la respuesta, si es afirmativa, también ahí sí se cambia el verbo. El verbo uh -huh. sí, lo van a pasar al pasado. Y uh -huh. el verbo love también. A menos que en el ejercicio le aparezca una palabra que dice not. Por ejemplo, en la dos. Uh -huh. Sí, ahí aparece un no. Aparece un no, quiere decir que la oración es negativa y que el verbo no lo van a cambiar. No lo vamos a cambiar, no. correcto. Entonces, así es de sencillo. Cuando uso un auxiliar did, el verbo no se cambia, ¿sí? Y cuando es la respuesta negativa, Ajá, el correcto. verbo no cambia. Así, siempre que usen el auxiliar did, no cambia el verbo, ¿verdad? Y como en el afirmativo no usamos el auxiliar, vamos a ir traduciendo, eh, pasando al pasado, valga la redundancia, los, los verbos, ¿sí? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. Gracias. Another question. Vaya, siga entonces trabajando. Voy, voy a irme a otra sala. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Not like it. No. No estoy. Sí, verdad? Not like it. De, de noise. De noise. Sí. Right. Yes. Okay. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo van? ¿Cómo van? La pregunta de la tres sería. Okay. Estamos emocionados, dicho. Están emocionados. Vaya. Uh -huh. Si hay preguntas, aquí estoy. Les comparto, les comparto la pantalla si quieren o ahí están bien. Vaya, dicho. Estamos dele. bien, dicho. Están bien. Dele, pero dele. Pero dele. Yo se la Cualquier comparto. cosa que nos sirva, démosle. Démosle aquí, vaya. Ahí están las oraciones. ¿Por cuál van ahorita? Eh, eh, por la, la, number three. la tres. Number three. Va. Va, no sé, pero recuerden que en la dos, aquí hay la palabra que dice not. Quiere decir que este es negativo. Oh. Y aquí en la dos no se les olvide. Lo siguiente, la regla general dice que cuando usamos el auxiliar did, el verbo no se cambia. Mm. Ajá. No me van a poner sí. el pasado aquí de este verbo. Mm, aquí es no. este. Interés, oh, interés. Interés. Okay. Interés. Okay. No la regla. Si es afirmativo, sí se cambia. Pero si es negativo, pregunta o respuesta, y estamos, utilizamos el auxiliar TID, el verbo no se cambia. ¿okay? No se cambia. Sí, va no en la se tres. Cambia, okay. Entonces, 
En la 3, ¿cuál sería? What? What did you do? Uh -huh. do. do, quiere Last decir night. que el verbo. No se cambia. What did you do? Last ah, night. Porque Con el auxiliar no cambia el verbo. No cambia, pero en la B ya no hay auxiliar, es afirmativo. Entonces, ahí es respuesta, ahí se cambia a pasado. Cambia. I saw. Correcto. I saw. Y abajo también. Es un verbo regular. Ajá. ¿Sí? I love it. I love it. Ah, correcto. Pues vamos bien. Entonces los dejo, los dejo seguir ahí. <risa> Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Dos minutos más, nos regresamos, ¿ok? Ok. Good. okay teacher. La pregunta de la tres, ¿quién la hace, compañeros? Si quieren, la hago yo. Ok. La tres. What did you do last night? Okay. No, I didn't. I invited I didn't. I friends invited over. Friends. Uh, no, I and cooked. I cooked. I cooked for them. I cooked for them. Okay. Okay. Uh, finish the practice, the conversation, teacher. <laughs> it's not there. It's not here. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Eh, nos esperamos un minutito entonces y lo voy a reunir a todos. O de chicken. Ok. Ok. Good. Now the turn of the kids. Hello, hello. Hello. We did it. Terminamos todos. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, I suppose. Yes. <laughs> I suppose. I suppose. Okay. I am going to do something. I will go group by group. I want to say group one, group two, right? Group number one. Exercise one. Group number one, exercise one. Okay, please. One volunteer, un chico del grupo uno que me lea la pregunta y la respuesta, ¿ok? Uh, what is my group teacher? Number one or number two? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. Number one. Uh, number, number one. Okay. Number yes. one. Okay, please. Entonces, I'm léame la uno, okay, please. Okay. Do you stay home on Saturday? Mm, stay, no, right? I, no, I didn't. Call my friend. We drove to a coffee for lunch. Ok, excelente. Solo que aquí le voy a hacer un pequeño comentario. En la plataforma, aquí esto es negativo. Pero okay. si nos vamos a la lógica, vean, dice no. ¿Te quedaste en casa? No, no me quedé en casa. Yo llamé. I called. Lo que I pasa, call. Ajá, es que aquí no aparece, la, no aparece la palabra not. Uh -huh. si, si apareciera la palabra not, entonces sería I didn't call. Pero como no aparece, la coma Teacher. no nos, de, nos deja aparte. Lo ah. y Teacher. Solo déme un segundito. Eh, okay. Entonces quiere decir que es I called. Y di. Called. Withdrawal. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Entonces Vicky Withdraw. tenía razón porque Vicky <laughs> says oh. this. Called. Withdrawal. Ok, good. Rolando, me decía, Rolando, Rolando. No, 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 en el grupo 3, vea, eh, no hay, no hay call, my Ajá. friend withdraw. O sea, los del grupo 3 la hicimos no, no. bien. O sea. O sea. <risa> thank you, thank you. No se vale, esa no, preferencia. No se vaya a pelear con los del 1, por favor. Ok, group number 2, please, group number 2. A volunteer, please, for group number 2. Volunteer for number two. ¿Alguno, algún chico del grupo dos, please. Bueno, entonces pasamos al tres. Group number three. 
Volunteers, ¿quién me quiere leer la, la pregunta dos? Yo. Ok, dime. How did you spend ah, morena, your ajá. last birthday? How did you? How did you spend uh -huh. your last birthday? Okay, birthday. Now, in this case, spend is in present, right? Now, yes. Co continue, Morena. I had uh -huh. a party. Uh -huh. Everyone enjoyed it. Enjoyed it, right? ED. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Continue. But the neighbors not like the noise. Mm, okay, but what is what is the auxiliary, Morena? For negative. But the neighbors didn't. Didn't. Good. Didn't, didn't. like the noise. No, los vecinos. Ah, okay. Siempre quejándose y rolando haciendo fiestas como mm. siempre, pero los <laughs> didn't. Yes. <laughs> didn't like, right? No se cambia el verbo. Yeah. Ok. Number three. Vamos a ver algún chico del grupo número dos que me ayude con la tres. No me pregunten quiénes son los del dos porque <ríe> no me recuerdo. Ok. Bueno, entonces hagámoslo general. Ok. Who helped me with number three? ¿Quién me quiere ayudar con la tres? Anybody, please. Cualquiera de los tres grupos. Mi teacher. Ok. Thank, thank you, Hilda. What did you do last night? I saw a 3D movie at the Cineplex. I love it. I love, uh -huh, love, loved it, right? Loved, loved it. it. Okay, thank okay. you, thank you. Number four, please, number four. Did you do anything special over the weekend? Yes, I did. Excellent. I went shopping, unfortunately. I spent all my money now I'm broke. Lo que le pasó a mucho el, el uh, Black Friday. Black Friday. <laughs> ¿Cómo van a hacer con el aguinaldo? Yo no sé. No existe. Okay. No I'm broke. Says. Okay, number five, please. Volunteer number five. Volunteer number five, please. Cualquiera, de cualquier grupo, please, help me. Help me, please. Did you go? Ajá, uh -huh. did you go? Did you go out, out on Friday night? No, I didn't. Ajá, uh -huh. correct. Wait, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Aquí en la cuatro dice, yes, I did. Y en la, en la cinco, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Excelente, está excelente. No, I didn't. Ok, I, continuo. I, I, I Friends I, over. Wait, wait, wait. I invited, right? Invited. Invited. Friends over. Invited friends over. And I cooked dinner from them. Okie dokie. Su actividad favorita, ¿verdad, May? Cook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Thank you very much, okay? Congratulations. You did very well, right? Now we're going to go to the PowerPoint presentation for the class today, right? Let's go for the class of today. And let me see here, right? Welcome presentation here. Okay. Give me a second here. Okay. The topic for today are one conversation saying, how was your vacation? The pass of B. And we're going to make an exercise. Listening. Welcome back. Right? Good. Now, let's start with the objective. Uh, Brenda, can you read the objective for the class, please? Um, participants will have a chance to listen to a conversation where pass of B E. B is user. Okay, thank you. So in a conversation where we, where we are using the pass of B, simple like that, right? Okay, in the conversation, we're going to use this vocabulary. Listen, please. Lucky, weather, cloudy, most, waves, amazing, trip, incredible, believe. Now, please, repeat after me, please. Lucky. Weather. 
weather. Cloudy. Most. Waves. Waves. Amazing. Trip. Incredible. Believe. Good. Questions about vocabulary? Questions? Do you understand? What's the meaning? Waves. 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 Olas. Ah, okay. Wave, right? Like in the Cuscatlan Stadium, right? The, the wave. Ooh. Okay. Oh. No, but this is in the ocean. In the ocean. Wave, right? In the Where's ocean. The, ah, okay. Where's the Thanks. people? <laughs> Tsunami. Ooh. No. Wave, right? Now, any, any other question? T-shirt. Uh huh. Yes. Trip t-shirt. Trip. Viaje. Aventura. Oh, right. Trip. trip. ¿Cuál es tu trip? <laughs> okay. Trip. Viaje, right? Good. Okay, thank you. Any other question? No questions. Okay, so let's continue. Let's go to the conversation, right? How was your vacation? Hi, Don. Hawaii. How was your vacation? It was excellent. <laughs> I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy a lot. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. Now, please, repeat after me. Hi, Don. Repeat. Hi, Don. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? <laughs> How was your vacation? Vamos a apagar un ratito el micrófono, ok. Eh, eh, es que estaba firulais también repitiendo después. De... Ok. Good, now, come It's on. It's bilingue teacher. I know, it's an English though, right? <laughs> it's an English though, right? Yes. I say, uh, how much is one plus one? And the dog say, whoa, whoa. Ok, <laughs> nice. It's a mathematic dog. <laughs> Okay, now repeat after me, please. It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy a lot. Cloudy a lot. But we went surfing every day. Surfing every day. The waves were amazing. Waves. Amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Best thing, trip. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. Okay, this is the conversation, right? Now let's go to the grammar part, to the grammar, right? Uh, Morena, can you read the objective, please? The second objective, please. In this session, participants will study the paths of B. Questions and short answers will be thought. 
Okay, will be taught. That is the will be taught. The, the past participle of teach, right? Taught. Se, se me enseñar. Se ah, enseñar. taught. Ah, taught. Okay. Taught. Uh -huh, yes. Okay, the past of be simple like that, right? The past of be today. In the present, remember is am, um, are, and is. But in the past is was and where. And you use was for was I, and watch and where. Yes. <laughs> yes. What is for, <laughs> for I? For I, she, he, and it. So you say I was, she was, he was, it was. And we use where for you, we, and they. So we say you were, we were, yeah, they were, they right? Were. Now I have to make questions. No, sorry, I have to make sentences in affirmative. It says, I was at school yesterday. So we simply use the, the subject and the verb to be in past. Was and where, right? So I say, I was. Then we were, we were at home, it says, right? We were at home. Now in negative, we say, uh, she was not, or oh, listen, she wasn't at the park. They were not at the movies or oh, they weren't at the movie so you just simple uh copy the verb to be and we add the the word not right that is in the negative form good now we have examples for the use of verb to be the pass of be right with yes no question and information question okay uh just i have a question Ok. Eh, ya copiamos su mensaje, Ana María. Lo importante es que esté con nosotros, ¿verdad? Ok, sorry. Now, he says, Was it cloudy yesterday? Yes, it was. Oh, no, it wasn't. Were you at the party last night? Yes, I was. Oh, no, I wasn't, right? So we use. We, uh, if, if the an affirmative we use subject and, and, and the pass of B, in this case we we change the position and instead of say it was, I say was it. Instead of say you were, I say were you. So we change the position of the subject and the verb to be and we, we use the question mark at the end of course, right? And notice that these are the yes no questions. And in the yes, no question, we have all yes or no, or yes or no, simple like that. Now in the formation question, we use question uh, WH words like where, when, what, who, why, whose, which, when, et cetera, et cetera, all, all the WH words, right? Here in this case, we have where was the party last night? So we have the WH word, was in this case the subject party the party party people yeah party right so december we start december december is all party all the time coronavirus goodbye december yeah. and parties welcome christmas <laughs> okay so where was the party last night and then you don't say yes or no you say it was in my house or it was in Rolando's house, for example, right? The party. Okay, now. Every day. Ah, oh, party every day. <laughs> every Friday, Rolando. Okay, good. Be careful, please. Be careful. <laughs> no, teacher. No drinking activity, right? No drinking activity. <laughs> okay, now. When wow. were you? Only one, right? But, but one is nothing, Rolando. So you have to take two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now when were you at the bookstore? When is the WH word? Where is the past tense of be, right? And you is the subject. So you say, when were you? Mm, I was there in yesterday or last night or etc. etc. Right? Good. So do you have questions about affirmative, negative, and questions? Any questions so far? ¿Hay alguna pregunta hasta el momento? 
No, teacher. All clear. No? Everything is clear. Yes. Okay. Good. Uh, tengo una práctica, pero por cuestión de tiempo. I'm oh, sorry. The contraction was not, wasn't, were not, weren't, right? That's the contraction in negative form. Tengo una práctica, pero quizás vamos a ver si la hacemos mañana mejor, porque tenemos que ver los videos de la plataforma para practicar. Así que vamos a dejar esta práctica para mañana. Ok, good. Now, that's it. We finished the PowerPoint presentation. Ok. And we're going to go to the platform, right? Nos vamos a la plataforma. Ok. Okie dokie. Here, right? Ok, now let's start with the conversation, right? Listen to the conversation, please. Of B. Listen to the conversation and figure it out. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Then yeah. we'll pass the B is used. Hi to all. Welcome to this session. We'll continue talking about simple past, but now I want you to find out the simple past of B. Listen to the conversation and figure it out. Don't miss next class where I'll explain the past of B. Let's listen. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Okay, so this is the conversation, right? We already practiced the conversation. And they are using, of course, the simple path, right? Of bird to be. The simple path of bird to be. Okay, now we're going to check the video for the grammar. For the grammar, right? When to use the path of bird to be. Pay attention, please. In this session, participants will study the past of B. Questions and short answers will be taught. Hello, nice to have you back. I'll make reference of the past of the verb B. Let's start. Past of B. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Okay, notice please uh, the difference between yes, no question here. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, I wasn't. So these are yes, no question. And this, how long were you or how was your vacation are information questions. Notice, please, the way we answer. Here, yes, no, yes, no. And in here, it was a way. It was excellent. So we answer in a different manner, right? Okay, let's continue watching. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. The past of be, am, um, and is, was, are, were. To ask questions using the past of be, we do it this way. Was, were, plus subject, plus complement, plus question mark. Were you my student? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was she sad? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were they late? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Remember, we use B to express feelings, conditions, states, and descriptions, either in present or past. Now you try answering the following questions. Were you my student before? Were you happy yesterday? Were you late this morning? Okay, so we have material to answer in the video, right? So we're going to read that tomorrow. For the moment, 
we are going to finish, right? The class with knowledge check and listen, right? Knowledge check, listen. We are going to use the past of verb to be. He's saying, complete the following conversation, right? How long here, the most important part here is that you have to copy or only was or where, right? And uh, in the negative form, wasn't and weren't, right? But please pay attention in the subject. The subject is the most important here. For example, your parents here, look, your parents is plural, right? So for plural, we are going to use they, we, right? For plural. So, and what do you use? Was or where? That is the question, right? Was or where? Hmm? Remember I use I, he, she, and it. I use was. You, we, and they, we use where, right? So now with this information you copy or was or you copy where. Simple like that, right? Only that. Don't copy El Salvador, eh, Guatemala, Mexico. No, 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 no. Or was or where. Number two. They, ah, they was or they were. Three, this is a yes, no question. Again, we use was or were. Notice that the subject is they, right? They. And then, no, they, they wasn't. Or they weren't. Huh? So what is the correct answer? I guess we can use contractions. Aquí creo que se puede usar contracciones, right? Okay. And you, notice. So you say you were or you was. It's simple to learn, right? Solo aprenderse de memoria. Was is for I, he, she, and it. And where is for you, they, and we, right? Number six, no, I. No, I wasn't or no, I weren't. Number seven, how was it or how were it? Number eight, it was great or it were great? Number nine, so for you, was you or were you? And finally, letter B, it says, yes, I was or no, I was. Okay? Good. Now, let's go to the listening part. Uh, sorry, do you have questions about this part? ¿Hay alguna pregunta sobre esta parte? No, teacher. No? I guess it's easy, right? Yo lo veo un poco fácil, pero obviamente, ¿verdad? Pero si hay alguna pregunta, pues ahí estoy a sus órdenes. Sir, yes, sir. Right? Okay, let's go to the listening part. Welcome back, it says, right? Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacation, right? Vamos a ver uh, qué hablan ellos de sus vacaciones. We have four questions, right? Now listen to the audio. Listen to the audio. Listening. Welcome back. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Complete the chart. Jason, hi, welcome back. Jason, hi, welcome back. You were away last week, right? You were away last week, right? Yeah, yeah. I was on vacation. I was on vacation. Where did you go? Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. I went to San Francisco. No San Francisco, Chinameca, no. San Francisco in United States, right? Nice. Nice. How was it? How was it? Oh, I loved it. Oh, I loved it. What did you like most about it? What did you do most about it? Well, San Francisco is such a beautiful place. Well, San Francisco is such a beautiful place. And the weather was actually pretty nice. And the weather, the weather was actually pretty nice. Well, that sounds more exciting than my last vacation. Well, that sounds 
more exciting than my last vacation. What did you do, Barbara? What did you do, Barbara? I just stayed home. I just stayed home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. I didn't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. I didn't have enough money, right? Oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's, oh not... That's too bad. Really? Not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I went to the gym every day. I went to the gym every day. And I lost three pounds. And I lost three pounds. Well, that's great. Well, that's great. Good for you. Good for you. Okay, then you check the question, right? Where did Jason go? ¿A dónde fue Jason? Did, you, the, did he enjoy it? Okay, and then you say, yes, he did or no, he didn't, right? Where did Barbara go? ¿Dónde fue Barbara? Did she enjoy it? And then you answer, yes, she did or no, she didn't, right? Okay, class. Uh, I don't know if you have any extra question. No, teacher. No, no questions? Teacher. No, teacher. Sure. Good. Teacher. So, do you want me to send the presentation for the group or no? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Please. Okay, good. No yes, problem. Yes, yes, please. Later, I will send you the presentation later, right? So, God bless you. God Thank bless you. Good night. 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 Good night.